And now for the worst game of the night. A long time ago, I streamed a game called Slendy Tubbies. And I've been informed that there is a Slendy Tubbies sequel. So we're going to stream Slendy Tubbies 2. window this thing it says full screen okay now now we're in fuck it doesn't have it does not have my resolution of choice okay it can just be resized however I want so I'll just do that Wow, I actually, like, nailed the resolution I wanted on the first re uh, resize. So yeah, why am I playing Slendy Tubbies? I don't know, why does anything happen? Why does life happen? Why are, why are we human? I don't fucking know. So now resize again. Custom skin. Uh, now I'm good. Whatever. Back. I don't have a server ID. Just, just make me. I just want to play the game. Custard amount 15. Collect all 15 Teletubby custard. So this is not a game that makes you go through a story. Like I wanted some deep lore about the Teletubbies, and there. Like, how they were made, what do they want, where do they come from? It's like Outlast. Uh, hang on a sec. Let's see the controls again. Run, shift, jump, space, toggle, light, left mouse button, look through camera, right. Zoom in, E, zoom out, Q. That's all I need to know. Good. go collect all 15 custards <laughs> what am I doing <laughs> okay so if you guys see a teletubby and you get scared just look away all right I don't want anyone getting hurt on my watch Fucking really? Is that the noises they're gonna be making? Can we not have them make that noise in particular? You are dead. I hate everything. Don't you? I hate everything. <laughs> Why don't you? Look at that Teletubby. I like that one. I think that one's, um, Rungo. Oh, what was the name I used? It doesn't matter. All of the names are stupid anyway. So, the question I have is, did this game need a sequel? Because the first game was basically, okay, it was, it was Slender, but with Teletubbies. Now this is a multiplayer version of Slender, but with Teletubbies and more levels. I think this came out fairly recently too. I don't, I don't think this was made because of the, the fucking massive Slender f 
craze that was going on. What happens when you run out of battery? Why is there a camera? So, my story is my name. My name. Tub. Light. Lightman. And I'm here on investigative business to gap to capture footy footy <laughs> footy each of the elusive teletubbies to find out if they're real there's been rumors it turns out millions of kids across across the globe remember seeing a show called teletubbies when they were a kid but no records of such a show exists so you as tub goodman have to find evidence of the Teletubbies and then film it so that all may know. It's kind of like a Berenstain, Berenstain thing, right? Where they, the dimension split and millions of people remember Teletubbies, but the show was never made. That's the shocking twist. The show was never made. This game sucks. Okay, I can't even really say it sucks because it's functional. It does everything you want these games to do. But these games are about walking around a dark environment looking for custard. So, I mean, if that's riveting enough for you, then man, Sluddy Tubby 2 is your, is your shit. That's, this is going to be your jam. I also would like to point out, I feel like I'm in the lightning fields in Final Fantasy X. And if I, um, dodge the lightning a hundred times, I'm gonna get my ultimate. Which is actually just a better camera that lasts longer than ten seconds. There's a custards. Mm, good custards. Oh, there's a custards. This isn't scary. I got this. Just gotta find some more custards. The rain likes to stop when I stand in certain... Oh, hey there. Okay. What are you, friend? That, that is, I'm sorry, but that's not a fucking Teletubby. That, that is a Teleman. That is Teleman. That, that is a fucking man tubby. Oh, God, I'm getting stuck. Oh, God, I'm getting stuck. Feels like the custards are limited to like one area. There he is, I'm getting him on camera. Evidence. Proof that he exists. Okay, we got proof. Now we can leave. We can go back to the news station and report to the world that yes, in fact, the, the Teletubbies do exist. You weren't hallucinating. The kids everywhere vindicated. Satanic messages have been received. Orders have been programmed. Soon all of the children are going to activate at the same time. Execute all the 66th. Oh, hey, it's me, your old pal. Dink Palpatine. Do you want to execute order 69, Douglas? <laughs> By chance? Scary face. This is the best way to find custard and also enemies. 
Oh, hey there. But oh, you're close. You got real close to me. It's just like, it's just a scavenger hunt for things that you can barely see. I, I don't understand how this is like, I mean, Slender was fun for a little bit. I, I enjoyed the Slender game for its novelty when it first came out. But like, truth be told, I have not been looking for like the next Slender. I just kind of let it go after the first few. I played the first one, and then there was a few clones, and then I was pretty much done with Slender. I think, um... I think I'm just gonna let this dude touch me. Good choice! You'll love it! I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. scarier than Resident Evil 7. Did I play Dead by Daylight? Yes, I did. Alright, now, I, this is something I can get behind. So we have Teletubby Land in daylight, which means custards should be a little bit easier to find. The camera turns off the fog, so that is a nice way to locate said custards. Also, this object that I'm holding in my hand, it does not look a whole lot like a camera. My name is Tub Scatman. Expert news report, what is that? That's a Teletubby? That's a fucking Teletubby? <laughs> it's a tank! It's a tank from Left 4 Dead! <laughs> Fuck this game! <laughs> Can someone shut this fucking thing up? Shut it up. Thank God. Thank fucking God. I was hoping to see a hanging Teletubby, but that's not happening. Oh, come on. How, how am I supposed to outrun it? It's, it's better than me. It's faster than me. It's bigger than me. It's, it, just <laughs> it's cheaper than me. I missed a custard. It's too, it's too late. I'm already bored, so I'm just gonna have it take me down to the beach and put me down. So it's standing over its fallen comrade. You are dead. Quality games. Teletubby Outskirts. I will say that I'm going to give credit where credit is due. I like the camera mechanic of being able to like see through the darkness and the fog for 10 seconds. I like the level variety. 
There's a lot of different levels. I like the the tub the tubby variety. There's a lot of weird fucked up looking tubbies. And uh, that's about it. So there is some good here. It just if the gameplay wasn't, you know, your your typical slender fare. I think um there there could be almost maybe something here. Outlast. Yeah, I played Outlast. I, I streamed it for a little bit, but I never never finished it. That's what the camera is. So, I mean, when I say that the camera mechanic is interesting, I'm not saying it's original. It just, you know, it's a good addition. Well, yeah, the reason I don't do a lot of games like this or like jump scare games is because it doesn't really do a whole lot for me. Any any game that uses like really cheap scares is just for me it's just lazy. And uh I would rather play like a psychological like fucked up game. Like Eternal Darkness is still one of my favorites because it actually makes you question your playing. I mean, I'm playing this now just just to have a little bit of fun because because tubbies, because we we've been in a, a very tubby mindset lately. And I don't know. I just want to try it out, but it's uh you know it's not something I, I I could ever really see myself enjoying. I wonder what the multiplayer is like. To be totally fair, I'm I'm really curious about the multiplayer. Okay. Next level. We didn't even see the enemy. That was that was what the tubby looked like. Tubby craft. Oh sweet fucking Jesus. <laughs> Amazing. I love it. I love it so much. How come, like, this scary music just sounds like, like babies screaming with a lot of reverb on it? A lot of these games, like these horror games, are really funny to me because the, the ambient scares are always the same. It's just like kids with scary effects on them, screaming and loud pounding noises. I found the desert. Actually, this is a very easy level to find tubby custards on. really hoping to run into the tubby. I'll say this though, another thing. This game does not have... <laughs> this game does not have the same AI that a lot of the Slender games have. Which is the AI meaning, you know, you get a few things, like a few pages, and then the thing chases you and hides behind a tree, or, you know, it's like it kind of locks onto your coordinates. It looks like in this game, they just drop a random tubby somewhere in the environment, and if you run into it, you run into it. If not, oh, whatever. Good luck. I wonder if I could complete this entire scenario, this entire level, without once running into the, the um, enemy tubby. Oh shit, it's the tubby house. I know this from the game. Magical things happen in, in this house. Cheap. 
garbage. And the original. Someone in chat said games with horror games that are about jump scares are the lowest common denominator. You are so fucking right. No, I definitely jumped. I'm not gonna deny that I, I didn't jump. You saw my mouse flip out for a second. I absolutely jumped from that. I did not expect it. I'm just saying, fuck that. And, and again, no tubbies. There are no tubbies present. There's apparently people playing this right now. Well, this is an easier multiplayer to join in than I thought. I thought this was gonna be a fucking nightmare to join. I just joined right in. <laughs> this is so lame, man. <laughs> what are we doing? I wonder if, if the people playing this are legitimately just looking for the custards. Like, what enjoyment do you actually get out of this? So, yeah, that dude is going to be kept busy by the bait Teletubbies. So they're going to bait him around while these two tubbies look for the custard. So, guys, it's the deepest strategy. Like, really deep strategy. Okay, here we go again. Tubby house. Get ready for a cheap jump scare. Fall off me, he said. Uh, okay. I'm follow up. I'm I'm fall offing. Filming an orgy down here. <laughs> it's Norix from the chat. Hey, Norix. Whoa. Whoa. Yes. 
so cool. This game is awesome. Literally tens of minutes of gameplay. Please use your tubby custard as lubricant. Oh, fuck. Huh? <laughs> I got this. Go get... Oh. Oh, I like the jump scare while I'm dead. <laughs> All right. Um, hang on a second. Maybe there's more, sir. No, it's just one. Here, I'll join one more server. And then I will end this forever. Ha la la. I, I am the demon. Not, um, never mind. Someone's finding custards quickly. It says the word attack. I never thought, like, if you need sound effects for going fast, just increase the pitch of the footstep. Good enough. Attacking. There's no attack animation, it just says attacking, so you know you're attacking. That sound effect is definitely not going to get annoying. <laughs> Where are you going? You can't run. It's me. It's me! I pressed E and the tubby disappeared. Good. Uh, I think I'm winning. <laughs> I think I'm winning. Hang on a sec. Hi, it's me! I'm a baby! I'm gonna get ya! Hey, that's my custom! Hey! Who wants to touch my, uh, my stinky pinky, huh? <laughs> This fucking blows. This <laughs> sucks so much. New server. Last one, for real. That's Teletubby Land Day. Uh, create room. Versus co op, I see.
So you you pretty much you have two game modes. Um, yeah, so you cooperate against the large tubby and find custards and hear screaming. Yep, I see it. I see it in the distance there. Or you fight each other. How I shoot. On the play Papu game, why not shoot? I'm going towards it. Everyone go into the big tubby. <laughs> Redemption has been achieved. All right. That's enough of Slendy Tubbies. Two. Oh, man, that was terrible, but also enjoyable. I enjoyed the terribleness very much. I hope you did too. I'm going to be right back with City Skylines and then maybe something after that as well. City Skylines is going to be very interesting tonight. I have some new mods. Stick around and I will be right back with a brand new City Skyline stream directly 